Happy Sunday, everyone. We have some storms in the forecast still as the week starts off. I'll get to that in just a second. As for right now, our high temperatures 92 in Medford, 87 in Ashland, 97 in Montague was the hot point as we're cooling down quite a bit, especially with all of the smoke and actually some clouds coming in. It's been keeping us cool. 66 over in North Bend, 60, 63 that is in Brookings, 89 in Klamath Falls, and in 91 in Lakeview. Our low temperatures 60 for Roseburg, 64 for Grants Pass, and 66 for Medford, 51 over in Klamath Falls, 49 in Mount Shasta, and mid-50s out on the coast with 45 over in Lakeview. And those are those clouds I'm talking about. It's going to start moving in our way, especially to start out the night. Going into tomorrow as we have a low pressure system off to the southeast of us that's going to drive up some moisture and some instability to start off the week. First, I want to look at the air quality index. At this time, Klamath Falls and Altamont are actually under an unhealthy air quality index, which means for just about everybody, but especially people with lung conditions or heart conditions, the air can be dangerous. So stay inside if you can. Crater Lake and Lakeview under a moderate air quality index because of all the smoke out there, causing some visibility issues as well. Alturas down to five miles of visibility. Klamath Falls was down to eight a little earlier. Eight miles of visibility in Montague, hanging around 10 miles for Medford, but that smoke, especially going into the night, could cause some issues when it comes to visibility. Satellite loop showing that low pressure system I was just talking about. Right here, it's going to move on up towards North Nevada, through Nevada, towards east of the Cascades, bringing with it some moisture, some instability to start off the week. A lot of moisture actually could result in some showers, but also lightning storms. So it could be one way or the other. We may get dry lightning, but we may get showers to help out the firefighters currently fighting many of those fires that we're seeing the smoke from. As for the coast, 55 in North Bend overnight, 54 in Brookings with winds out of the north, 10 to 15 miles per hour, and some fog and low clouds probably going to hang around into the morning. As for the morning, 65 is the high tomorrow on the coast in North Bend and Bandon with 56 over in Crescent City, who's staying a little colder than everybody else. Winds out of the north, 10 to 15 miles per hour. Heading inland in the West Valley, 67 in Medford, 57 in Cave Junction overnight, 57 as well in Mount Shasta with some smoke and isolated storms possible down towards the higher elevations to the south of the I-5 corridor, but they are isolated storms, just a slight possibility for that. Isolated storms possible tomorrow as well in the West Valleys with northwest winds 5 to 15 miles per hour, 95 tomorrow in Grants Pass, Cave Junction, and Medford, 93 in Wairika. East of the Cascades, an isolated chance of storms to overnight, 58 in Alturas, 58 as well in Klamath Falls for the low. Winds out of the northwest 10 to 15 miles per hour with some cloud cover and smoke overnight. Winds out of the northwest 5 to 10 miles per hour east of the Cascades tomorrow. Chamolt is at 81 degrees, 87 tomorrow for Klamath Falls, 93 for Lakeview with a chance of scattered thunderstorms as that low pressure system starts to bring some instability into the area. Rogue Valley, your seven day forecast showing we're going to see some smoke and haze pretty much until those fires are done for, but a chance of storms to start out the week Monday and Tuesday and we're clearing out pretty nicely hanging around the mid 90s for highs and around 60 degrees for lows in the Rogue Valley. Klamath Basin, a chance of storms to start out the week, and then we're going to keep an isolated chance of storms as the week goes on with that smoke and haze hanging around. Our highs are going to be around 90 degrees for the Klamath Basin. Mount Shasta City, a 40% chance of storms tomorrow, 30% chance on Tuesday and Wednesday. Could be bringing with it a fair amount of moisture and showers, which would really help people out. Friday and Saturday, isolated chance of storms, around 90 degrees for highs. Out on the coast, pretty standard, around the mid-60s for highs with some fog and low clouds probably going to hang around to start out the week. Lows around that mid 50 degree mark should be a nice week out on the coast. That's check your weather. You have a great week.